Good evening, everybody. It is Friday night, and I was trying to figure out what to do, and someone on my Discord suggested Metal Gear Solid, so we're going to play some Metal Gear Solid. They might not even be around. I, I think they're actually offline right now, but I mean, you know, you can pick it up on Twitch in VOD, or you can check it out on YouTube, so, you know, if you miss part of the episode, it's all good. Um, before we get started, we're playing on a PS2. Uh, with my actual copy of Metal Gear Solid, which is ancient and scuffed, and I don't know how long it's going to last for us, but we're going to try. Actually, we can look at my memory card. This is my memory card for action games, so I've got some Valkyrie Profile. I don't know why I have Valkyrie Profile in here. I think that was a mistake. <laughs> but then I got some VR training data, and I've got these two, which are... Um, playthroughs from when I was a kid. This is the same memory card I had when I was a kid, so. God, when did this game come out? 96? 97? Let's see. Oh, man. My case is so scuffed that the discs don't get held in the things anymore. So the discs are a little scratched. I hope that we actually make it through here. If not, there are other options. Um, since I own the disc, I can just get a, a ROM and it's not really like a big deal. Um, or we could try tw Twin Snakes on GameCube. Well, we'll get as far as we can in this. We'll see what happens. Maybe it'll work out. Of course, that's famously from uh, Police Knots, a game that never actually really came out here. disposal facility on Shadow Moses oh, Island class. in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the president of Armstech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike. And stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then... We'll launch a one-man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. High-tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, a beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. 
and Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? The man with the same code name as you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment, OSP? Yes. This is a top-secret black op. Don't expect any official support. I mean, should we look at the briefing? Let's let's look at the briefing. I haven't seen this in ages. It's been a long time, Snake. I should have known you were behind this, Colonel. That's no way to greet an old war buddy, Snake. What do you want from me? I just invited you here so we could have a talk. <laughs> invited? That's what you call sending armed soldiers after me? Sorry if they were a little rough with you. But we've got a serious situation here. Only you can get us out of it. I'm retired from Foxhound. You're not my commander anymore, and I don't have to take orders from you or anyone else. You will take these orders. I know it. Excuse me. Who's this? Dr. Naomi Hunter. She's chief of Foxhound's medical staff, and an expert in gene therapy. Are you military? No, civilian. I've been sent here from ATGC. Pleasure to meet you, Snake. Don't worry, this injection won't hurt a bit. What's the shot for? What's wrong? You don't like shots? Snake, listen up. It all went down five hours ago. Heavily armed soldiers occupied Shadow Moses Island, a remote island off the coast of Alaska. What soldiers? Next generation special forces, led by members of Unit Foxhound. They've presented Washington with a single demand, and they say that if it isn't met, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. A nuclear weapon? I'm afraid so. You see, the island is the site of a secret nuclear weapons disposal facility. Foxhound hijacking a nuclear weapon? Now you understand how serious the situation is. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, and the president of Arms Tech, Kenneth Baker. They're both being held as hostages. Those are some heavy-duty hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to launch a nuclear strike, and stop them if they do. Any questions, Snake? Questions? I haven't even said whether I'd accept this mission. Well, you can make up your mind after you hear more about the situation. So it's interesting because Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake didn't actually come out here in the US. So it's kind of of a surprise that this got such an amazing uh, turnout here in the US, right? Like good quality voice acting, uh, solid, pretty solid translation, um, lots of work put into it. Advertising, television advertising. I remember that this game was described as the reason to own a PlayStation back in the day. Colonel, I don't work for the government anymore. Let me go back to Twin Lakes. Why, Snake? Is your life in Alaska all that great? There's a dog sled race this week. Next Saturday, I have to be in Anchorage. Get dinner, Rod? The longest sled race in the world? When did you become a dog musher? Right now, my 50 Huskies are my only family. I've got to take care of them. Don't worry about your dogs. What do you mean? 
I'm sorry, Snake, but this vessel is headed for the Bering Sea. There's no room for debate. I told you, even if I do owe you, I don't owe anything to this army or this country. You will accept this assignment. Why should I be stupid enough to do that? I'm no patriot. Snake, there's enough dirt in your file from your days as an agent to keep you in the stockade until you're a very old man. Oh, I see. Blackmail. No, Snake. I prefer to look at it as helping you come to a decision more easily. But anyway, I know you better than that. You take this assignment even without the threat. Why do you say that? You're a natural-born soldier. You're not the grow old gracefully type. It's the same for all of us who've seen real action. The only place we can feel truly alive is on the battlefield. I'm a soldier too. I know those feelings of powerlessness, frustration that you feel every day. You've tried to play the Boy Scout out there in Alaska, but you can't race dogs in the snow forever. Why don't you come back to us? and be a soldier again. You think my life is some kind of a joke? Snake, I just want to give you back your purpose in life. Paul Eiding playing a little bit of a... Uh... Oh wait. Oh right! This game works on uh, the circle button being accept. Of course it is. Tell me about the nuclear weapon disposal facility. The disposal facility includes a hardened underground base. Even with our most advanced intelligence gathering equipment, we can't tell what's happening inside. So someone needs to penetrate, gather intelligence, and report back. Sounds like a spy movie. What's the insertion method? Well, an air insertion is impossible. Not with this storm going on. We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. Approach? Yes, within a few miles of it. The facility is equipped with sonar detection capabilities. They'd be able to hear our engine or propeller noise. And then? We'll launch a one-man SDV. Launch? Same as a torpedo, <laughs> only this has no propulsion device of its own. But after the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. You want me to swim in sub-zero Alaskan water? Don't worry. That suit represents the latest advances in polythermal technology. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment OSP? Yes. This is a top-secret black op. Don't expect any official support. And the way that you have to go through here and kind of unlock stuff is actually kind of neat. What's the time limit? 24 hours. They say they'll launch after 24 hours. Do they say what the target will be? So far, they haven't mentioned the target. When did the countdown start? Five hours ago. Another thing I really like about this that we saw from the from the exit uh, movie actually was that uh, the way that they take like a, a still image of the the really cool art that they had for this game and then put like a moving shadow over it so it you know looks like it's actually a movie. It's pretty cool. The production values were really good for this. Colonel, who are you speaking for? Naturally, I'm representing the U.S. government. So who's in supervisory control of this operation? The President of the United States. Which means that the President must be meeting with his top aides in the map room about now, huh? No, at this point they're still video conferencing with each other. If that's a real nuclear warhead, shouldn't they issue a COG? Not yet. The Secretary of Defense has operational control and is fully aware of the situation. After you infiltrate, if you determine they possess nuclear launch capabilities, a COG will be issued. Well, if they haven't relocated to the nuclear shelter under Mount Washington, I suppose there isn't that much reason to worry yet. Is the National Security Agency in on this? Yes. So is the DIA, the Defense Intelligence Agency. The DIA? 
I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this. <laughs> They'll be sending us some support. We don't need death jockeys. We need a nuclear weapons specialist. Of course. A nuclear weapons specialist has already been assigned to us. We need backup from a specialist. I'm just an amateur when it comes to nuclear weapons. I know. That's why I've requested the assistance of a military analyst named Nastasha Romanenko. She'll be providing you backup by codec. A female analyst? She's built up an impressive record as an advisor for the nuclear emergency search team. Contact her if you have any questions. She's also an expert on high-tech weapons. Where's she working from? At her home in Los Angeles. California. Seems like a million miles away. Colonel, you're retired. Why are you involved in this? Because there aren't many people who know Foxhound as well as I do. Is that really the only reason? I've been soldiering for a long time. I don't know anything else. I guess even though I'm getting a little old, I still love to be in the field. Colonel, you're a lousy liar. Tell me the real reason. Okay, Snake. Sorry. I'll be frank. A person very dear to me is being held hostage. Who is it? My niece, Meryl. What was your niece doing here? Several soldiers were reported missing the day of the revolt. And my niece was one of those called in as an emergency replacement. She looks like you. She's my little brother's girl. He died in the Gulf War, and since then I've been watching after her. A personal motive, Colonel. That's not very soldierly. I'm retired. I'm just an old man now. And I'm your friend. Since when are we friends? I've thought of us as friends since the fall of Zanzibar. With my personality, I don't have too many friends. That's what I trust about you. It's what makes you human. Please, Snake. Save my niece, Meryl. All right. But I have two conditions. Name them. One, no more secrets between us. I want complete disclosure at all times. And two, I'll only accept orders directly from you, Colonel. No cutoffs involved, okay? Agreed. That's why I was called. But one thing. What? I'm not a Colonel anymore. Just a retired old warhorse. I understand, Colonel. So he said cutoffs there, but he meant cutouts, I think. That's where uh, there's another person that represents a person for the purposes of whatever. Um, you know, what's really cool about this is that all of this briefing file stuff is totally optional. Like, you can just get into the game, but... I mean, backstory, man. That doctor, is she part of this operation too? She was in charge of Foxhound's gene therapy. She knows more about those men than anyone else. You mean you've seen them naked? Make no mistake, I'm not a nurse. I'm a scientist. By the way, what was that injection for? It's a combination of nanomachines and an anti-freezing peptide so that your blood and other bodily fluids don't freeze, even at sub-arctic temperatures. Nanomachines? Not just one kind, either. There are different types which will replenish the supply of adrenaline, nutrition, and sugar in your bloodstream. Uh, now I don't have to worry about food. I also put some nootropics in there. Say what? Nootropics. A class of drugs which will help improve your mental functioning. It'll make me smarter, huh? Anything else? Yes. Benzedrine. It's a type of stimulant. It'll keep you alert and responsive for 12 straight hours. That was quite a cocktail. Anything else in there? Those nanomachines will also keep your codex batteries charged up. I guess I can call you when I'm ready to go on a diet. You're welcome. Alright, 
We'll cover the detailed information next time. Let's get started. We'll probably play for about an hour. Well, 40 minutes from here, at least. We'll get started. Things will be good. Let's see. Captions on. Vibration on. Vibration test. Well, the weak vibration doesn't work on this controller. That's too bad. What's special again? Oh, right. So, there's also... For us, there's details of Metal Gear and Metal Gear Solid... Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. Which is nice of them. We'll just open this up real quick. We're not gonna actually... But yeah, you can see these are both... These have both been played quite a bit. Wait, those aren't actually all of my old saves. Oh, those aren't my oldest saves. My oldest saves are actually on one of my PS2 um, cards. For what it's worth. We'll play on normal, because at hard they take away the radar, and I'm kind of rusty. And I never make it to this game to play it on hard. Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Snake, don't forget this is a covert operation. There are lots of bad guys and only one of you. If you're spotted, you'll be surrounded before you know it. If that happens, you're finished. First, go to the elevator in the back, take it up to the ground floor, then look for the DARPA chief. So, one thing worth noting in this game is that it actually is really easy to get killed by getting surrounded by enemies. Um, Snake is not quite the crazy, powerful Superman that he is in later games. you want. Be careful though. Crawling is slow and you can't attack when you're doing it either. You can stand up by pressing the crawl button again. So the other thing that happens is that the radar gets kicked out when you uh Rats running around. Yeah. 
In general, there's not much that you can do until the elevator comes back down. Is that more rations? Yeah, that's more rations. sneezed. Oh goodness, that's gonna mess with my uh, use of the radar. Hold on a second here, we're gonna fix this. The elevator contains a third guy, which means that they're gonna change up their uh, their paths. Right. Now, in normal, they really can't see you if you're hiding under stuff like this. Later, in later uh, versions, like in Twin Snakes, they can totally see you under one of these things. not as much freedom of movement in this early version, if you've played, like, you know, later Metal Gear Solid games or Twin Stakes. Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. Thanks to the VR training I did on board the Discovery. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Behind 
D. Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea, but it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, he must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But, uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a trained killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. They can see almost First, ten feet. I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. <laughs> I love that line. You never know. <sighs> if you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. 
I'm counting on you, Snake. You caught Snake? Snake, remember what the Gaul said. The graveyards are full of indispensable men. Snake, you're all alone and surrounded by bad guys. Try to be careful and avoid getting into a fight whenever you can. You're right. Wow, you know all sorts of great quotes, don't you? <laughs> well, both my parents are from Guangdong, China. But I was born and raised in America. I've always liked reading literature from both sides. Kinda keeps me in touch. I'll share some more quotes with you if you like. I'm looking forward to it. But to tell you the truth, I'd like to learn more about you. <laughs> well, I'll think about it. All right. So, if you go in through the first floor, you're going to have to either knock that guard out or get caught by the camera. Surveillance camera? I know, it's a surveillance camera. Um, hopefully I can get this done in time. The controls here are a little bit... Yeah, like that. Shoot! Yeah, that's going to be bad. Probably gonna die. Oh, they're gone. Jeez. This is not gonna be a uh, amazing run. <laughs> Off to a bad start already. <sighs> Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you, so call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Snake, when you enter a narrow space, you'll automatically go in... Intrusion mode tut tutorial. So, the thing that I failed to do was I failed to get up against the wall quickly enough. If you're up against the wall, the camera won't see you, but if you're not careful and quick about it, it will totally see you. What I also could have done, there's some chaff grenades over on the west side of that area. I could have used those. I moved the dark machine to the cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. They're about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Did something happen? There's an intruder. Really? He's already done three people. He's killed three people? Yeah. Say he's using stealth, too. Stealth? 
There's an intruder besides me? Anyway, I want you to increase the security detail on the Chief. Super rusty. Lots of cameras. button to drop down. Thanks. Action button is circle, I guess, right? Some chaff grenades too. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. Yep. Okay. So there's, I think, one guy walking around up top. Maybe not. I guess I don't see anybody walking around up top. But there's going to be guys down uh, stairs, at least two of them. There's one who walks right around this tank here. Then there's one who walks a slightly wider path, mostly around that tank. Um, if you're coming in from the first floor, you're going to come out there. And so you got to watch out. you got to time it so this guy's not walking past you when you uh, get down there. For now, I just got to contend with the cameras. goggles early on. Now you have to be careful here. You actually want to crawl here because if you um, walk on these grates, they'll hear you and they'll come up to investigate. I've gotten taken out a couple times like that before. <sighs> Fortunately, they don't look up. see the red dot. He's on the lower floor. And we want to wait for him to walk away, and we got to wait for the camera to point in the right direction. And make a run for it. Then, and fortunately it just opened right for us. Usually you have to wait a bit. Whew. Okay. 
First floor basement. Green dot. Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. <sighs> All right. Now we still can't open any doors. We don't have any key cards. The key card thing was totally like um, a big deal in the original Metal Gear. And in Metal Gear 2. If you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder. His voice is a little different when he's being outside of, uh... Nope, nope, nope. Look at the radar. It's picking up the dot. Come on, Snake. You can do it. Let's see. There should be a way to get to talk to Nastasha, Roman Snake. Uh, if name? you want to go. No, that's fine. That's, I don't want to. Uh, uh. Hold on. <laughs> Good. You've got yourself a weapon. To use it, first hold down the R2 button to enter weapon mode. Then select the weapon you want with the directional button. After you've selected the weapon you want, let go of the R2 button to exit weapon mode. The weapon you selected should appear in your appear hand. in your hand. To use the weapon, follow the directions displayed in the window. Yeah. If you use the R1 button, you can equip your weapon more quickly. While you're barehanded, press the R1 button to equip the last weapon you used. Press the R1 button while you're holding a weapon to be barehanded again. Don't fire your gun needlessly or you might be discovered. If you had a gun with a suppressor, it would be a different story. If you have any questions about there weapons we or equipment, you should ask our military analyst, Nastasha. Her frequency is 141.52. Let's get her. This is Nastasha Romanenko. A pleasure to work with you, Solid Snake. You're the nuclear specialist that the colonel mentioned? That's me. You can ask me anything about nukes that you want. I am also a military analyst, so I have an extensive knowledge of weapon systems as well. They asked me to participate in this operation as a supervisor from the nuclear emergency search team. I was happy to accept. We must not allow terrorists to get their hands on nuclear weapons of any kind. I hope I can help you to stop them. You're a tough lady. Those terrorists are serious about launching a nuclear weapon? The world cannot stand by idly and allow that to happen, and neither can I. Unfortunately, all I can do from here is provide you with information. Hopefully that'll be enough. Another soldier here wouldn't make a difference anyway. It's good to work with you, Nastasha. Same here, Snake. The nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shiado Moses Island was built at the beginning of this century. It was made only to temporarily store the nuclear warheads. Why? If they wanted to dispose of them, why wouldn't they just dismantle them right away? They cannot do that. You see, when you dismantle a warhead, you still have nuclear materials that must be stored. At this point, all of the nuclear material storage facilities are way past capacity. But they could not stop dismantling weapons while at the same time pushing START 2. So you're telling me that this base was built so they could temporarily avoid being in conflict with START 2? Most people think that we live in a safer world now. But with all the dismantled nuclear weapons and waste around, the threat of nuclear terrorism has increased tremendously. It's ironic, isn't it? After the start to oh a God, more history. on January 3rd, 1993, <laughs> Russia and the U.S. reduced their strategic nuclear warheads to between 3,000 and 3,500 warheads each. They completely dismantled all of the ICBMs which contained MIRVs. As a result of that, there are over 15,000 dismantled nuclear warheads waiting to be disposed of. I wanted to get her to talk about my thermal goggles or something. 
The warheads are supposed to Seriously? be dismantled at Pantex or some other dismantling <laughs> facility, but there are limits to how many warheads they can process. We just do not have the capabilities to dismantle all the warheads that are out there. I guess I should equip something, huh? The thermal goggles work by thermal imaging instead of by amplifying light like the night vision goggles. They'll work just as well in complete darkness. Not only that, they can also penetrate optic stealth systems. You will be able to spot claymores too. Yep. But they will tire your eyes out, so do not use them too much. Over 200 oh tons God. of plutonium <laughs> and over 1,000 tons of high-grade uranium have been removed from nuclear weapons so far. That's a lot. And on Jeez. top of that, nuclear reactors all over the world continue to produce and leak spent nuclear fuel. According to one estimate, as of the year 2005, America alone was storing over 50,000 tons of nuclear material. There is no room left in our nuclear material storage sites. That is why we need nuclear weapon disposal facilities. So Kojima's uh, very anti-nuclear message comes through loud and clear. The nuclear weapons disposal... Oh, we already saw this one. I was hoping you'd say something about my scope. Let's try the SOCOM. Good. You found a SOCOM. That's a Special Operations Command pistol. It's a 45 caliber pistol with plenty of stopping power. It's also equipped with a LAM for nighttime combat. If you hold down the weapon button, you can train the laser sight on the enemy to help you aim. If you find a SOCOM suppressor, you can equip that too. That pistol <clears throat> was designed specifically for a use by special forces, so I think it will be useful. Some people find it a little heavy and hard to use, but it shouldn't be a problem for you. And then just chaff grenades. That's a chaff grenade. It's a special grenade that disperses thin, narrow metallic strips of various lengths and frequency responses. It can confuse electronic equipment. It will be useful against machines which depend upon electronic sensors. Naturally, for it to be effective, you must use it before you are attacked. If you are expecting an attack, spread the chaff beforehand. You will also notice that I, our limits on what we can actually carry are very small at this point. Alright, let's do this. Damn cold. I hate Alaska. <laughs> boy, oh boy, that woman is built all right. Oops, too far. He's somehow not in that room. Know that it makes an insane amount of noise to actually crawl through a vent like this. They're not made for human habitation. Is that a woman? Not me. There's Meryl. Up, oh, up. Oh. Snake, the DARPA chief signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first-person view mode. I'm, I'm in intrusion mode! Everything's first-person view! What do you think I'm doing? Here we go. And 
you don't even have to do first person view. You just walk up there or crawl up there. I'm here to save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You're here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? Love the time. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. Uh, what? How did they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay? We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. Yep. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear... It can't be... You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. Yeah. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary. It's grown into a huge joint project between arms tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution... Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech? That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked? Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password... Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke anytime. But... There is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key? So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen. 
You need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Yep. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Why do you only have a level one card? Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Why do you have any card? <laughs> what is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? What is it? Why? Naomi, the chief. What happened? I... I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? No. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you. The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. You can actually see what's happening with your codec, or with your Soliton radar. Let's do this. Don't move. So you killed the chief, you bastard. Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move. Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <laughs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance. That scared look in your eyes. They're rookie's eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you <laughs> I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot! Oh. Get those 
rations equipped. What's the call for? Snake, what are you doing? Take care of the bad guys and get the hell out of there. You better use that weapon you found. Are they gonna make me? I guess they're gonna make me. There's kind of an auto aim thing that goes on. What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie. I'm telling you, shoot! to actually use let her do most of the shooting because you're not actually supposed to do much killing if you want to try to get a good ranking not that i'm necessarily going for a good ranking in this fight but Detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. That muzzle flash actually looks pretty good. just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. We so what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. in the bathroom. Okay. Well, whatever. So we're gonna call it roughly uh, here. I gotta move to, a, to the next area so that I can save and not have to repeat stuff, I think. I don't know. But we'll, uh, we'll take the elevator down. We'll save up. And we'll call it for this week. We're gonna take it nice and slow. Well, not that slow, but moderately slow through Metal Gear Solid. We get all those nostalgic codec conversations and good stuff like that. 
You caught Snake? Indeed. Snake, listen to what Lo Chi said. He who knows that enough is enough will always have enough. Just because you see an item doesn't mean that you always have to get it. If you don't really need it, think twice before you stick your neck out. It might not be worth it. Yep, good advice. All right. Well, hopefully this disc keeps working. <laughs> I, and hopefully my PS2 keeps working. Uh, so this has been first episode of Metal Gear Solid. And uh, let's see. Monday is Silent Hill 2. Wednesday is not sure yet, but we'll do this on, on Fridays until we get through it. Probably, yeah. Listening to the Codex stuff and watching the movies, it's probably close to seven or eight hours. So we'll see how, how, how much we go. But anyway, as always, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.